Good day everybody. This is a beautiful question. Integral 0 to 1 ln of 1 positive x divided by 1 positive x squared times dx. I'm going to be using the King's property to solve this question. The formula what I wish to do, I would like to take x is equal to tan theta. So dx will be differential of tan theta which is secant square theta d theta. Now when x is equal to 0, theta or when x is tending towards 0, theta will be equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, theta is equal to pi over 4. So this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 4 ln of 1 positive tan theta divided by 1 positive x is tan theta so tan square theta dx is secant square theta d theta now we have a formula secant squared negative tan square theta is equal to 1 so secant square theta is 1 positive tan square theta so that would mean this and this can be cancelled we got 0 to pi over 4 ln of 1 positive tan theta times d theta. Now what I wish to do is I would like to take this to be as i. Let us consider i to be equal to this. Now integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a negative x times dx. So this is the king's problem. So by applying this property what can we do is we can rewrite this so this is integral 0 to pi over 4 ln of 1 positive tan of the limit is pi over 4 negative theta times d theta now consider tan of pi over 4 negative theta this is similar to tan a tan of a negative b which is tan a minus tan b divided by 1 positive tan a tan b. So utilizing this formula, this is equal to tan pi over 4 negative tan theta divided by 1 positive tan pi over 4 times tan theta. Tan pi over 4 is 1. So this is 1 negative tan theta. divided by 1 positive tan theta. So that is nothing but tan of pi over 4 negative theta. So I can rewrite this to be equal to integral 0 to pi over 4 ln of 1 positive 1 negative tan theta divided by 1 positive tan theta into d theta. So you take the LCM simplify this is 0 to pi over 4 ln of 1 positive tan theta positive 1 negative tan theta divided by 1 positive tan theta times d theta positive tan theta negative tan theta gets cancelled giving you 0 to pi over 4 ln of 2 over 1 positive tan theta d theta now you know ln of a over b is ln a negative ln b so by that formula this is 0 to pi over 4 ln 2 minus 0 to pi over 4 ln of 1 positive tan theta d theta. But what is this? We've taken this to be equal to i. On the left, i is flowing in, right? So this is going to be negative i equal to integral 0 to pi over 4 ln 2 d theta. We place d theta there. So this is going to be 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi over 4 ln 2 d theta which is ln 2 is a constant take it out 0 to pi over 4 of d theta so this is equal to ln 2 integral d theta is theta 0 to pi over 4 substitute the upper limit you get pi over 4 we can rewrite of course 0 is the lower limit no use of substituting that so push this pi over 4 out 
3 I did as pi over 4 times long 2. This is 2 times i, but I need only i. So I can write this down. So 2 times i is pi over 4 log 2. I need only i. Therefore i is equal to bring this 2 down pi over 8 times long 2. Now this is the solution. What is i? i is actually this. But where did we get this? We got this from here. But what is this equal to? This. So therefore I can safely conclude integral 0 to 1 ln of 1 positive x divided by 1 positive x squared times dx is equal to pi over 8 ln 2. So that is the solution for this question. Now I am going to do another method but I will do it in the next video. So please check that out. Like, share and subscribe to our channel until we meet again. Thank you.